Hello, welcome to the Battle in Barrow and not the planned video for today. Uh, so this is just a little impromptu video. Uh, the video I did have planned today, I'm going to have to postpone just due to the past few weeks I've been ill and I still sound dreadful, you can still hear my voice. I look absolutely dreadful, I haven't been able to shave for about a week, so I look like a hobo that has fell on hard times. Um, so that yeah, the videos I had planned for this week, I'm going to have to record bits and get it out for next week. So just thought I'd do a little not on camera um video about something else I got for Christmas this year, which is an expansion to one of my favourite board games of all time, War of the Ring. Um, I've covered it a bit on the channel, I've done a retrospective of it, which you can see in one of these corners here, I forget what it is, <laughs> maybe this one up here. Uh, there, there was a really botched Let's Play, I think we're a old mate of mine from a few years back. So this year I want to get more... Uh, diverse games on the channel and one of them will hopefully be War of the Ring if I can find someone that's willing to play it with us and we can get better camera angles on it this time. But yes, in the retrospective I covered there are some um, expansions and offshoot games to it and this is one of the expansions. This is a little box expansion called Lords of Middle Earth. And what does this entail? Uh, this is just uh, effectively giving you a bit more options and strategy for the game as well as some new miniatures uh when you got gandalf the white you just the miniature is the same you just had a gandalf the white card but this actually has a gandalf the white miniature our contents are we have eight new plastic miniatures five special dice we've got some new dice uh 11 cardboard counters and 28 event and character cards and some game rules uh the box is uh it's a little small box here and it's full color picture of a Galadriel on the cover with the uh, mirror and water. It is an awesome piece of art. Uh, the box is plain inside. Uh, along the sides it's just War of the Ring, Lord's Middle Earth. First up we have the Ares uh, game catalogue. Uh, standard in all their games really, uh, just for all the different things they do. Quick look at it here. Um, uh, is it this one? Is this Sword and Sorcery? This interests me. Um, I don't know what it's like. If you've played it, let me know in the comments if it's something worth investing in and looking into. Um, maybe here is the Ward of Ring. Uh, so there is another expansion here called Warriors in Middle Earth, which adds more what it says Warriors. I'll probably hopefully pick up that. We can have an epic game of War the Ring on the channel. Hunt for the Ring is a offshoot of this game. It's to do with the Ring Wraiths chasing hobbits through the Shire. I do want to pick that up too. Conan, Age of Conan, is that any good? Let me know in the comments. Um, some sci-fi games, but I'll start Galactica and that. Not into those. This looks interesting because I'm into ships. Might be useful to have little models for uh, ship combat in D&D &D and role-playing games and what have you. Uh, I think I might look into. Yeah. So let's let that little TT. So here we are, the game by I think this is by the guys who made the actual first, the actual proper game. So it's just an expansion done by them. Uh, we have the rules in here, which one would expect in these sort of things. Uh, we have the credits anyway. Yeah, we have the credit. Yeah, the art in this, as I covered in the main video, is done by John Howe. So that is why it looks so good. That's one of the things that appeals to me. So in this we have setting up game, how to use various bits and pieces. What is actually in, in the box? And it's a lovely rule book. Uh, staple bound. Uh, I think I've uh, as normal for these sort of games. I don't know why I keep mentioning that in my recent games. Um, I covered the actual plan of the game in that main video, so if you're interested, check that out. Uh, so um, this just adds uh, just extra stuff to the game. Um, we have the Elven Rings, have much more of an impact using this rather than doing the main game. Uh, so we're going to look at, I'm not going to cover too much of this, we can look at the art on the cards in a moment. This introduces the Balrog, which is terribly exciting. Uh, so yeah, we have that. Let's cancel. What do we get in here? We have the miniatures. Uh, let's cover the dice first. The least sort of interesting bit for you guys, because without knowing 
what sort of muster dice are and action dice, what have you. Uh, so obviously these are going to be probably the good guy dice, evil dice. Uh, so you roll them and get some results. This box, uh, the dice came in a bag which is in here, I've opened them already. But what I liked about this set is once you've opened them it gives you a place, a little slot here to put your five dice, which is amazing. Uh, what miniatures do we have? We have the Balrog, who looks like that in this set. Yeah, pretty darn cool. Uh, we have a Galadriel with her mirror. Yep, these are smaller than 28mm by a long shot. So here is Hugo. Into the channel window here, so you can see. You know, we pick this one up here, which is yeah, you can see they're smaller anyway. So let's have a look what miniatures we have in here because I don't know. So this is the first time I've really looked at it, I've opened it and played around with it, but. Let's have a look. So this is going to be uh, the mouth of Sauron. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we then have the Witch King on Fell Beast, which is really cool. Uh, Gothmog who, if you're a film uh, only Lord of the Rings person, it was an orc in that, but in the books it is undetermined of what Gothmog was. And we always thought he was some sort of black Numenorian or something of that like, until the films came out and made him an orc. So in this game they look like they've gone with the black Numenorian theory for Gothmog. Or, there was also uh, a theory that he was one of the ring waves as well. Uh, so, possibly something like that. Uh, we have Aragorn. We have a miniature for Aragorn. Looking suitably regal in his sort of more Return of the King guys, I guess. So I'm slightly armoured up there. I like it. For really small, teeny miniatures, these are. You know, surprisingly detailed. Uh, we have Gandalf the White and Shadow Fax. Yeah, and considering these aren't display miniatures, these are just board game miniatures. These are great. And we have last we have uh, Elrond. Blurry Elrond. There we go. Who looks like that? Still a better looking Elrond than Rings of Power. I will not stop throwing shade at that production. Okay, so next up we have cards. Uh, what do we have in here? Let's get rid of the tokens first. Cards are actually the most important, to me, the most interesting thing in this set. Let's have a look at some tokens. Possibly, if I can get into this little bag. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, uh, these are Smeagol Golem counters, so that's the uh, back, which is a ring, and there is Smeagol. Some cool artwork of Smeagol. Uh, these are Balrog status uh, counters. I'm gonna try and find all of them all at once, hopefully. So these are, I think so. I oh, know there's something else. There's Smeagol Hunt Tiles, Smeagol Hunt Tile, Smeagol Hunt Tile. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's the status counter, it's one of these, so that's the uh, back, and that's the front, this is the Balrog status counter, I just, that's just going to say if you can play or not. Uh, we have, yes, four Smeagol uh, Hunt tokens, these will go in the hunt bag. Again, if you want to know what these words mean, watch the main video. Uh, 
These are something else I've got two of, and I don't know what they are, but they look like big Smeagol hunt tokens, I guess, which is weird. Uh, I have these tokens, which are on the back, they have the ring on, and these are shadow action tokens, so we have uh, Move Now Score Minions token, and we have a Advanced Shadow Nation on Political Track token. And finally, we have the uh, Elven Ring token, so the back's just a red version of it, and the front is a nice blue version. So uh, we have uh, Rilia, which is, belongs to Eng um, Elrond, we have Narya belong to Gandalf and Nenya belonging to uh, Galadriel and again that lovely John Hell artwork and then we have some cards we have we'll look at these later on and these sort of player cards uh, these are the uh, sort of action cards uh, what do we have uh, in cards here uh, uh, mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, two min cards, 30 new event cards, six for the three peoples, so that's what these are here. These are the event cards for the three peoples, and seven for the shadow, that's what these are here. So uh, these are just different things that will happen in the game. Uh, so you know, you can play these different tactics. Uh, and again, this is all explained in the rules and what these can do. So we have those, the good guys. So these symbols mean something. They're sort of muster, action, and troop symbols there, just in case. So uh, add two Smeagol totals to the pool. So you whack these into the pool. Okay. Uh, If I just some of the things we're gonna have here, I won't dwell too much on it. Uh, I can see where I started actually. Oh yeah, I'll pull it in. Yeah, so there are those, and then we have some alternative minion cards uh, for the Mouth of Sauron and the Black Numenorian, and some which could but this. So the cards are just gonna be these. Be, again, rules. But then let's have a look at the awesome John Ho artwork. Smeagol, Witch King, Mouth of Sauron. I actually love that. It's Mouth of Sauron. I love that picture. I actually prefer that to what we got in the film. To be honest, I just genuinely love that. Uh, this is Gothmog, Mordor. Again, probably portraying him as a black Numenorean. Uh, the Balrog. Again, I love that. So that's what we have there. Now the good guys, the free peoples. We have Strider, Dunedon, Peregrine Took, Hobbit of the Shire, which makes that's going to be Merry. I think you're going to get one of these for all the fellowship. Uh, Legolas, I believe. Yes, looking very uh, effeminate, which elves as elves should. Uh, Gimli. A Boromir, got to be, hasn't it? Smeagol again, notice he's in Free Peoples and the Evil Guys. Does he say Smeagol and. Is it both Smeagol, is it? Ah, I was going to say, I was hoping that would be a. Uh, Golem on one, the Smeagol on the other. Gandalf, who is the grey here. Galadriel. Elrond. And then back to. Back to Aragorn. Yeah, so that is it. This is what you get in the game. It is a super awesome game uh, as I said I do want to get it played more on the channel uh, this year I actually want to get an epic mega game played on the channel because uh, I want to get more games featured on 
on the uh, channel this year. I've been last year was a bit of a mega D and D uh, session, which is nothing wrong with that. We like a bit of role playing game, but I do want to uh, again get back to the diversification I had on the channel, because covering lots of different fantasy games. And so, yeah, I thought I'd take my illness as a little opportunity to start by having a look what's in this game. That's it for this video. Uh, let me know if uh, you're interested in ordering. Let me know if you played it. Let me know. Just let's have a conversation in the comments. Until the next video, guys, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.